With Mary for you carry. We're gonna bring the Godfather back in the room since she was hitting on that, and we'll have another conversation because this is very important. Why didn't you get married before you decided to have kids? Me personally? Mm -hmm. mm, the question was never asked. But then why then why would you give a man the 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 greatest blessing a woman can give a man without him even having to make you his wife and give you his last name. Hmm. You cannot ask a man to come along after you've done that and pay a higher price. He's going to pay less or nothing. Not a man of value. The only man that will come along and do that is a man of lesser value. Because a man of higher value has options because he'd be looking for the childless version of you at best. Ooh, she was dumbfounded. Kel said, why didn't you? She said, uh. He said, why didn't you marry this man before y'all had a kid? She said, uh, he didn't ask. What? <laughs> what do you mean? And, okay. and that is, this is like the epitome of the modern woman's madness and lack of accountability. Like the 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 rest of development is serious. What what mother, what mother gonna say and say he didn't ask? Well, like like Mike said, that shows you inconsistent. You got zero zero discipline. He didn't ask. And hey, one part of our discussions as we was having butt naked freaky circus sex, it just we just was doing it, and then a baby came along. Okay, if he didn't ask. Wrong, wrong answer. And like Third Eye Y said, the black women today um, do not understand their womb is the most precious gift they have. No one ever told them that. So what's your take on that, Mike? Why would a woman, or why do women think, so they'll say, oh, do you have a kid by this man? You say, did you marry him? They'll be like, no, they'll be offended if you ask, did you, were y'all married or are you divorced or something? But having kids, no big deal. If you ask a woman if they get married, they'd be like, whoa, why would I do that? You know? So why in our community in particular is this a thing? Yeah, I think I think today's woman got that got the word marriage miscued. Cause you if you most women you think about it, when they hear marriage, it goes alongside with submissive, and women think submissive is being like a slave or something like that, right? I'm like, well, for any relationship to work, one party has to concede to the other. Yes. Plain point is simple. And most likely it's the woman who got to concede to that man because women look for men to lead them, right? Yeah. Because you want a man to be superior to you in every other way. I'm talking about in the things that you're looking for, taller than you, stronger than you, lead you, uh, morals, family values, uh, stern, stoic, you know what I'm saying? So you have to concede to that and not compete with that, right? Yeah. So, you know, when they hear the term marriage nowadays, they don't understand that this is what comes alongside with it, right? And when mm -hmm. a woman be like, oh, I got to submit, like, when, as soon as a woman hear the term submit, man, it, it seems like they just go off the rails, man. Like, <laughs> like you can't, you ain't can't compete with the man that you look to be better than you in any way. Like, that's not making any sense. So, you, you know, so you should, you know, going back to marry before you carry, it mm -hmm. works. You know why it works? Because the rest of the world does it. <laughs> right. And the reason why it, it's the reason why it's called traditional values, because it's been tried and tested through millennia. It works. This new idea with roles being intro, uh, inverted and, you know, you've seen a lot of fuckery Twilight Zone shit. It, it doesn't work, man. It just doesn't work. So, you know, that's why we have marriages plummeting. We got single mothers going up. We got obesity going up. We got overweight going up. We got antidepressants going up. You know what I mean? It's not good for the future. And I kind of fear for my like nieces and nephews because when they get in their teens and they and they and when they're 18 and 21 it's going to be some shit off of fifth element man like it's man, crazy it is you sound you sound like me i love saying you know art imitates life and life imitates art you know if you ask me these tv programs they are they starting to show us what it's going to be like yeah, these right. uh yeah. post apocalyptic <laughs> movies they're not so far fetched anymore you know, they're just not. And it's 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 yeah. actually it's sad. It's sad how 
you know um how art is starting to imitate life and vice versa too in a in the most terrible way but yeah, yeah these man. man this this date and nowadays and i'm gonna keep saying it these ladies they continue to get it misconstrued the difference between just you know your value as a human we ain't talking about that your value in the sexual marketplace these ladies must stop getting offended by these trigger words like submission and and value because the only value that we are referring to is sexual marketplace value if you single and you out here in the sexual marketplace men and women must abide by the rules set before us nobody is any specials there are there aren't many special snowflakes not enough to consider whenever we you know going through these issues at at the least yeah so so here we are beauty with jay says and you know her mom made sure they respected him never made him feel uncomfortable never hit him with that you ain't my daddy right her mom sat them down before they even met this man and they went so this is ideal trust me and i understand this is this is probably less than five percent of cases Mm -hmm. and it's ideal most men would say if this is the case you know they will consider it yes most most times they walking into some rambunctious disrespectful kids yeah now let's yeah you know and and let's you know coming from you know humble beginnings we can't act like that you know like i said before i definitely needed stepfather figures in my life i'm pretty sure all of us up here did and it was key whether it was a coach or whomever at the same time times has changed these stepfathers aren't getting respect as you were showing that your uh father did i don't even call him a stepfather because that's that's some uh righteous stuff right there so uh glory to that brother for sure yeah, I, it has to be a list of shit for me to even consider it. Now you accept it. I'm not considering it because I'm like, because men who know they know they worth. If mm-hmm. I if I know, if I can relate it to credit, if I know I got an 860 credit score and I can buy any anything I want, why would I, you know, in terms of if I walk into a dealership and I can get that Ferrari, get that Bentley, get that Maserati, right? Because I know I got the credit to do so. There you go. I'm not even looking at Hondas. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not I'm not looking at those other stuff. But so for, but unless that Honda is going to come with a souped up inline 6, you know what I mean? The leather is real good and I'm like then I might consider it, right? <laughs> you know, I know I got the credit to, to buy elsewhere. Yeah. You know I mean, so you know, you know kudos okay, to that. So that, start, that's a rare start, I was going to say if we start getting into the lane of exemptions now. Let's say a woman widowed, her husband died in a car accident or Maybe her husband's a prisoner of war over in Russia. He ain't never getting out. Putin ain't letting him out, right? These unique circumstances. And she got one kid. She a good woman. She got a little bit of resources, a house, whatever, you know? Yeah. Like you said, is that her redemption? You know, I don't know. You know, here's my thing. Back to, you know, Mr. 40 hours a week. You know, anytime a woman would even consider, we're going to get off Mr. High Value for a while. Anytime a woman would even try, say she would consider, you know, Mr. 40 hours a week or Mr. Man willing to play stepdad, she will always throw a disclaimer in there. Always. Oh, yeah. I take a man, I take an average man, Mike, making uh, 40, you know, uh, 35, 45,000 a year. I take him as long as he got a side hustle as long yeah, as yeah. he is trying to start his own business as long as he's trying to do something else no no he ain't trying to do none of that he's just trying to go to work clock in clock out and come home and handle his duties and responsibilities ambition does not come standard on all men and here we are. We women, today's modern woman should be lucky that ambition does not come standard all men because that non-ambitious man, that man who ain't trying to work uh 80, 100 hours a week doing a regular job and doing some entrepreneurial uh endeavor, he ain't checking for the single moms. But Mr. 40 hours a week who just trying to maintain and grow and be happy and have some peace in the household. He will most he's going to take on that task and that duty and responsibility and glory to him. But y'all, today's modern woman ain't accepting Mr. 40 hours a week because he don't look the way they like. Yeah. And then this is where this is where I want to point something out, because this is where women 
this is something women definitely, definitely never understand when it comes to that 40 hour work week. So you can't have the utmost freedom without giving up the utmost security. And you can't even have the utmost security without giving up the utmost freedom. A man who's working, a man who's at the house all the time, right? He's going, he's going, he's working 40 hours. That man who's making 100,000, 200,000, he's not going to be home. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be home. And the men that care about you enough is going to put boundaries on them. A man who care about his woman is enough is going to put boundaries on you, right? You can't be doing all this crazy fuckery when I'm away from the house, man. I need you to run the house while you let me lead us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But women think they can, they can burn candles on both ends, man. They think it'd be good. Like, you cannot, man. You cannot. There's, there's, there's roles to be made for the betterment and for the polarity of the relationship. And they don't understand that. And like you said, they think they can make up their own rules and they are on Instagram and they're listening to people who they shouldn't be listening to. So this is going to transition. Your <laughs>